Brewers regular season games 104 through 109. The Brewers will lose 7 to 3 on July 27th, which is my birthday. The first two runs of the game, Jesus Sanchez would score in an RBI double and Jonah Bray would score in an RBI single. Reese Hoskins would hit home run number 17 of the year, a three run shot, making it 3 to 2. Nick Fortes would tie up the game on an RBI single. Brian De La Cruz would help the Marlins take the lead on an RBI single, making it 4 to 3. Josh Bell's 14th home run of the year would make it 7 to 3, sealing up the scoring for both teams. Sunday, July 28th, the Brewers would win 6 to 2. Jacob Junis with the win. Xavier Edwards would hit his first career home run, making it 1 to nothing. Also, he would hit a cycle. Jake Bowers' eighth home run of the year would make it 2 to 1 on a two run shot. Joey Ortiz would make it 3 to 1 on an RBI single. Bryce Terang would make it 4 to 1 on an RBI single. Jackson Churio's 11th home run of the year would make it 5 to 1 Brewers. Jake Bowers would score on a Reese Hoskins sack fly, making it 6 to 1 Brewers. The Marlins would score the final run on a Brian De La Cruz RBI ground out. Monday, July 29th, the Brewers would win 8-3. Jesse Chavez with the loss. Hobie Milner with the win. Marcelo Zuna would hit home run number 31 on the year, making it a solo shot 1-0. Brewers legend Orlando Arcia would hit home run number 9 of the year, making it 2-0. Reese Hoskins' 18th home run of the year would make it 2-1. Still Braves. Willie Adams would hit an absolute monster three-run homer out to left center, making it 4-2, his 17th of the year. Joey Ortiz would get an RBI triple, making it 5-2, his third triple of the year. Jackson Churio's 12th home run of the year would make it 7-2, a two-run homer. A sack fly by Reese Hoskins would make it 8-2 Brewers. The final run of the game would be a Sean Murphy home run, his sixth of the year, making it 8-3. Tuesday, July 30th, the Brewers lose 5-1 to the Braves. Bryce Elder with the win, Joe Ross with the loss. Austin Riley would score in Nacho Alvarez, funny name, to make it 1 0. Marcelo Zuna would make it 2 0 on an RBI single. Braves legend Eddie Rosario would make it 4 0 on a two RBI single. Born in Wisconsin, Jared Kalanick would hit his 12th home run of the year, making it 5 0. Gary Sanchez would score in Jackson Trio for the Brewers' only run. Wednesday, July 31st, the Brewers would lose 6 2 to the Braves. Pierce Johnson with the win, Jared Koenig with the loss. Gary Sanchez will start off the Brewers with a RBI single, making it 1 0. Reese Hoskins will score on a Blake Perkins sack fly, making it 2 0 Brewers. Matt Olson's first of two home runs, his 16th of the year, making it 2 1. Travis Darno would also hit one of two home runs, his 10th of the year would tie it up at 2. Austin Riley would make it 4 2 on a two RBI single. Matt Olson's 17th home run would make it 5 2 Braves. Travis Darno's 11th home run of the year would make it 6 2 Braves. Friday, August 2nd, the Brewers would win 8-3 against the Washington Nationals. Frankie Montas would get his first win. Jake Irvin would lose. Reese Hoskins would start the scoring on his 10th double of the year, making it 1-0. Garrett Mitchell's 6th double of the year would be a 2-RBI double, making it 3-0. C.J. Abrams would hit home run number 16 on the year, making it 3-2. Il DeMauro Vargas would tie up the game at 3. A go-ahead 2-RBI single by Blake Perkins would make it 5-3 Brewers. William Contreras would hit his 12th home run of the year, making it 6-3 Brewers. Sal Friel could score on a Bryce Terang sack fly, making it 7-3 Brewers. And Jackson Churio would end out the week with a RBI single. The Brewers go 3-3 three three in their last six games. The record is now 62-47, and the Brewers' respective Brewers player of the week goes to Reese Hoskins.